Today we are making Christmas shaker cards. Hi y'all, welcome to Daily Dose of DIY. My name is Chris and we are on day 10 of our Christmas craft kickoff event. Today we are making shaker cards and if you're wondering what that is, it is a card that has a layer behind acetate or some clear film where you can add glitter, confetti, or other fun things and then when you shake them up it's all kinds of sparkly and fun. I made three versions of these shaker cards just for you and as part of our Christmas kickoff event you can get them free for the next 24 hours by going to dailydoseofdiy.com forward slash Christmas 22. Scroll down to day 10, fill in your first name and email, click send my SVG and we'll send it to you right away. While you're there, you also have the option if you've missed any of the days or you want instant access to all 14 projects with over 30 SVG files and printable PDF instructions, you can upgrade to the instant access pass. Let's take a look and see what supplies we need to make these super fun cards. I forgot to mention, we're also going to learn how to use Cricut pens to write on our cards. So come on and join me. So to make these cards, you're going to need some cardstock. The actual card will fit on eight and a half by 11. If you want to make the envelope, you're going to need a 12 by 12. You can do your choice of colors. I would use 65 pound or better cardstock. And if you want to be extra, of course, you can use glitter. Each card has a cutout in a different color. So grab a couple different colors of cardstock. You're also going to need some chunky glitter or confetti or any other small things you want to add to the shaker part of the card. We're going to need foam tape. And of course, if you have a roll like mine, we're going to need scissors. And then you also want some tacky glue or maybe fine line glue for these little parts. I added a bow to this card. You can grab any other embellishments like that that you would like to add. We're going to write on it with our Cricut, so you're going to need a Cricut pen. And then for the clear, I am using acetate sheets. I found these on Amazon. You can use any kind of clear plastic. I was even thinking a Ziploc bag. Any kind of clear plastic will work. Let's take go into Design Space and take a look at these SVGs and how to cut them. In Design Space, select the card you want to make along with the envelope. I'm going to show you the snowflake card. They will all go together the same exact way. Note the white square that comes with the shaker cards is to cut your acetate. If you're going to use a different material or you want to cut it by hand, simply delete this. You can change the card color if you want it to match the snowflake. You just go to the top and it will give you the material colors right there so you'll get the same shade as your that you cut your snowflake in and then we can, we're going to use our pen tool so we can type out a message select the card and then go to the top of menu again and click ungroup this will pull the pieces apart and we can write our message on the front go to the left and select text and then type out your message. I'm going to have mine say snowflake kisses. So to change the font, you would just click this down arrow here and then you can filter, click the filters and select a writing font. I have this one selected called a perfect day. It's single layer for cutting or writing and that is with Cricut Access as well. So I think with access, you get to use it. If you don't have access, then um, you pay a small fee. So this is spread out a little bit more than I'd like. We can come up to line spacing and click the down arrow until it gets closer to where I want it to be. Once you're happy with the letter spacing, you can select both of them, come to the top and click align center horizontally to get it on there nice and straight. And while they're both still selected come down to this bottom menu and click attach and that will attach it this section is ready to go we will write the snowflake kisses with our pen and it will cut the rest if you would like to add a message to the inside of the card you can do the same remember you want to write on the right side of the card so i'm going to enter in and warm 
Winter Wishes. Resize so it will fit on the right side. And once you're happy with the placement and size, select both the words and the card and come down to the bottom again and click Attach. Now we're ready to click the Make It button. On the matte screen, there's nothing you need to do. You can see it's showing us a pen and a basic cut. If you have a Cricut Explorer, set your base, set your dial to cardstock and on a Cricut Maker Machines, you can browse all materials and search cardstock. I already have mine favorited. Let's get this cut. We're going to do the pen first. Cricut will tell you it says load our pen and then it's going to write and then cut. Okay, I have my paper loaded on my mat and I'm just going to take the cap off my pen, open up clamp A, push down till it clicks, and then close the clamp. We load our mat and it will write and then cut. After it's finished cutting, flip your mat over and remove your mat from the cardstock to help prevent curling and tearing and then load your next piece of paper up and get it cut. To assemble the envelope, fold along all of the perforations, then add glue to the bottom three quarters of the tabs. Fold the bottom up and glue in place. Check and make sure the extra glue didn't seep out so you don't glue your envelope closed. To make the shaker part of the card, we're first going to glue the acetate to the back side and then add our 3D foam tape all the way around it. The foam tape is what's going to hold our glitter in, so make sure there are no gaps, all the edges are touching, and you don't go in front of the design. Keep it to the outside of the design with all edges touching. After you have the design area surrounded with tape, Add some extra tape to the tops and sides of the card. Next, remove the backing from all of the tape. If you have a hard time grabbing a hold of the paper, you can use your weeding tool to help you lift it off. Now we're ready to add our chunky glitter. Pour a little bit of each color or one solid color, however you want to do it, inside the design area. Now we're ready to attach this to the front of our card. Grab the inside part of your card, fold along the perforation lines. So this is the front, make sure you're gonna get it on the right side, and that's the inside. You also want to make sure you don't to get it upside down. So keep the wording over here, and your snowflake on the bottom, or whichever design you're using, and then we're just going to line up from the edges. Once it's lined up, press it down and attach firmly. We want to make sure it sticks so none of our glitter falls out. And that is our shaker card. And finally we'll add our snowflake cutout to the front. I have my fine tip glue. I'm just going to add it all around the outer edge and then place the cutout on top. And there is our finished card. Snowflake kisses and warm winter wishes. Thank you so much for making these shaker cards with me today. Be sure to grab your free SVG for the next 24 hours at dailydoseofdiy.com forward slash Christmas 22. And be sure you're subscribed to find out what we are making tomorrow. God bless.